my channel. So today I have a really, really fun video to share with you guys. If you don't already know, I work at Sephora and we have a really cool animation right now called Trending at Sephora. Well, hashtag Trending at Sephora of Ford Lux. Feathery brows, electric eye, glowing skin, and berry lips. So I have created for you all of the Ford looks on this face today and let me just say the glowing skin is not something I do on an everyday basis but I did it for you I did it for the video so I have created this look for you here and I did a more simplified version of an electric eye of course you could definitely make it more elaborate if you wanted to but I only did this type of electric eye so that everyone can recreate but of course you could do anything you want for an electric eye, but, um, yeah, I think that's all I have to say, and I hope you guys like to my new setup. I'm on my back wall next to my usual filming location. It's a little bit more, um, I feel like you could see the space more, um, and I'm hoping to get to more lighting on this wall, because it's looking kind of naked right now, but I'm really excited for my new setup. I'm really excited to film this video for you guys. Um, and let's just get started. So I pretty much already have, um, feathery brows on their own. I don't really do too much on my brows. I pretty much have mentioned numerous times on my channel that I am not an eyebrow person. But for you, I'm going to fill in my brows today. And I'm only going to be really using two products. Now, at Sephora, the term of a feathery brow is to not do concealer and make it very, very dramatic. So as you can see, these are my brows. I have nothing on them at the moment. They are, you know, they do have a nice shape to begin with. So all I'm going to be using is the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Perfect Brow Pencil. I got these two guys in a little set, but you could totally find them, you know, individually sized or whatever. And I am literally just going to take a little spoolie. Um, brush the hairs out, you know, really easily. And I'm pretty much just going to fill them in very, very lightly because I feel for me personally, um, I don't really need much. Now, of course, if you are the type of person to fill them in, you know, strongly, then, then go for it. But I really feel like you're not really going to see a difference if I go to do it right now. Um, but for the sake of the video, I'm filling them in, and I'm shade, and I'm using the shade medium brown. Now you can also use the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, brow whiz or powder or pomade, whatever you feel more comfortable with. But as you could see, there is no difference. So I'm just gonna lightly just brush it out, distribute the product, and. This is pretty much what I do. So to finish off the look, I'm just going to go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. And this is something that I do use on an everyday basis. It pretty much just holds the brows um, in place all day long. And you don't got to worry about your, eyel your eyelashes, your eyebrows getting, you know, wonky throughout the day or just so that the hairs stay in place. So those are the eyebrows done, feathery, whatever the term is. That's pretty much that. Next, I'm going to try and achieve glowing skin. Now, me personally, I am naturally very oily, so there is a fine line between being glowy and being oily. So, me personally, I can never pull off a very dewy type of look because my natural oil looks like I'm dewy, but I want to be matte. But, again, for the sake of the video, I'm going to try and attempt to do glowing skin because the majority of all my foundations are matte. So, in that case, I do not have, though, a glowing-ish type of primer. I'm going to actually be using the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Primer and... This is just going to give me that little help 
to achieve that glowing skin. And I'm just going to really just pop this all over. Now again, I really don't have a very dewy type of foundation. All my foundations are matte, but the one that I do have is the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. This guy is full coverage. It does give that really nice healthy glow to the skin. So this is the one that I'm going to be using today. And this is in the shade, I'm in the shade Santa Fe. I'm just going to pop this on. And I really do like this foundation regardless. On an everyday basis, I will use a more mattifying primer for this foundation because, again, I can't say it enough, I like a more mattifying foundation. So, but I really like the way this covers. I really like how long-lasting it is. I really love also that it doesn't feel like I'm wearing a ton of makeup. And I love, again, how... Um, I don't have to touch up throughout the day. Sometimes it's hard to, you know, touch up, especially if I'm going to be, like, with clients and, you know, touching the testers and everything. So it's hard for me to touch up throughout the day. I really can't. Really, just only my lunch break I can. But, um, long-lasting products are something, are something definitely that I look for in foundation. And this definitely does deliver quite nicely. And I'm not really sure if you can even see it, but I definitely will... You know, it definitely does have that dewy-ish luminosity texture to it. After that, I'm going to go in with my concealer. Now, my concealer is not going to be dewy, but I do have here the Naked Skin Weightless um, Concealer, and I'm in the shade Light Warm, and I'm just going to pop this on underneath my eyes for a little bit of a bright-eyed, awakened look. Um, I personally have very, very dark circles, as you could see, so I really like something that's going to brighten up underneath my eyes and yes I look silly <laughs> and I'm just gonna take a brush and blend that out really easily and this guy blends in so nicely I could do a whole video sorry my nose just is I could just do a whole video literally on just this concealer like look how nice and bright this makes me look I'm going to set my concealer. Setting my concealer is definitely something that I do on an everyday basis no matter what concealer I'm using because again I need products to last me. So I'm going to be taking the Bare Minerals Well Rested Powder um, on a small little tulip style brush and I'm just going to set that very lightly that way you don't have to worry about creasing or anything like that because again that's the last thing we want is for our products to crease on us because I hate when that happens. So after that I'm going to enhance the glowing skin even further and for that I'm going to, I'm sorry I'm just putting all my like brushes away, I'm going to be using their Guerlain Terracotta Bronzer and can I just say how good this powder smells. There's something about it. I like, I just, it's perfumey, but it's like a good perfume. I just can't get over how amazing that smells. So I'm going to be using the shade um, number one in Brunette. It's called the Natural Healthy Glow Powder Duo, and this is pretty much all it looks like. So it has a really cool um, design to it with the actual warm color, like a warm coral, cor coral color to it. And I'm just basically going to take this very lightly on the Sephora Pro Contour 79 brush, which just looks like a small little tulip brush. I'm just going to work this in really loosely onto my cheeks. I'm not going to be doing a heavy metal bronzer. I'm not going to be contouring or anything like that. I'm just going to slowly warm up my cheeks ever so slightly. If you could see the difference there. And it's just going to give the skin a really, really nice warm healthy glow. I've kind of ever so slightly kissed the sun and I just love it. I'm going to take a little bit of this too on my temple area. And of course you could do as little or as much as you want depending on your skin tone. 
depending on the products that you have. So feel free to do as less or as more as you want. After that, I'm going to do my bronzer. And for that, I don't want to do a matte bronzer. Again, all my bronzers that I own are matte. <laughs> Um, but the one that I do have that has a little bit of a sheen luminosity to it is the Too Faced uh, Perfect Flush Blush um, in the shade Candy Glow. And packaging is just phenomenal. And this has a really nice, healthy little glow to it. So it's as if my cheeks are naturally blushing. And I'm just going to pop that on. If you're not a fan of the very warm pink shade of this one, I know they have a more coral one and a more berry one. And that's the blush. And now my favorite part to really make my skin beautifully glowy. I'm going to be using the Becca Cosmetics Champagne Pop. This is the highlight that Jaclyn Hill um, collaborated with and I just I just love it. I, I wear this every day to work. I'm just going to pop this on with a fan brush. And of course with highlight because of how in trend it is these days, you could definitely do as much or as little as you want. I think the main thing is I tell all my clients that with a product like this because of how um, powerful it is, you don't want to take it too much underneath the eyes because that's going to bring out your pores which is not what you want. So you definitely want to keep it in this main area here. A um, little bit too on the nose, and you could do a little bit too over your little brow bone to know your cupid's bow. So that is the glowing skin. I don't know if you could see all this. I hope my lights are not washing anything out. So that is the glowing skin. And I think it looks pretty good. So now on to the electric eye portion. I already completed this off camera. I kept it very simple. Of course, you could do it a lot more elaborate, but I figured um, something like an electric eyeliner type of eye would be something very achievable, achievable for a lot of different people. So that's what I'm gonna create for you today. So I'm gonna be starting off with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. This is a eyeshadow primer that is my absolute favorite, and I'm just going to be putting this on all over my lid up to the brow bone. And this is just to prevent my eyeshadows from creasing. For my base um, on my lid, I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick in the shade Rose Gold. And this is just going to go all over my lid. And I'm going to blend that out with my finger. To give my eyes a little bit of dimension, I'm going to be going into the Urban Decay Naked Palette. This is the first one. And I'm going to be using the shade Naked 2 on a crease brush. And this is just going to go into my crease. Next, I'm going to take the shade Faint, which is a little bit darker, and this is going to go on the outer corner. For my brow bone highlight, I'm going to be using the shade Foxy on a flat shader brush. And this is going to go on my brow bone. You can take a little bit of it too on your inner corner. You don't want the eyes to be too heavy because we want the main focus to be on the liner. For the eyeliner, I'm going to be using a couple shades from the Urban Decay Electric Palette. If you don't have this palette, uh, Makeup Forever does have a lot, a lot of different uh, neon single shadows. And Sephora single shadows are very good too or buxom. So if you can't get your hands on this palette or maybe you're not... Um, wanting to spend the money on the palette, there are lots and lots of different options for you to buy singles instead. The first shade I'm going to be using is the shade called Savage, which is a very bright neon pink, 
on a small little angle brush. This is the main brush we're going to be using throughout all of the shades. And I'm just going to pretty much pop this. The first third of my lid. Well, line. Lash line. Maybe I'll zoom you in a little bit more if you can see it. There we go. Alright. So that's that. It's again, it's gonna be very simple. The next shade I'm gonna go into is Urban, which is this one here. This is a really nice um royal purple shade. And I'm going to take that, I can't like do this on camera, and this is going to go just on the center part of the lid. This is very hard to film. The last part of our little flick here, I'm going to be taking a blue shade called Fringe, which is this shade here. This is a nice teal royal blue shade. I'm going to be taking that on the very outer corner. You want to make sure too that you are blending in the purple with the blue. Just so that you don't have any harsh lines. So for that, just take your purple again and go over that line. For my inner corner highlight, I'm going to be taking the shade Revolt, which is a real true silver shade. And that is going to go on my inner corner. And it's probably going to be gone in a minute because I have my fan on and my eyes are tearing like crazy. So that is the electric eye. Again, I kept it very simplified. That way many different uh, people can achieve it. For my mascara today, again, I don't want anything too crazy. But I do want a little bit of length because I don't want to take away from the colorfulness. I'm going to be taking the mini version of the Tarte Sluts Camera Lashes Mascara. Absolute favorite for lengthening. And my eye is tearing like crazy. And those are the eyes completed. So the last step is my personal favorite, and I'm going to be doing a berry lip. Berry lip is something that I have been rocking all week long, part of this animation. One of my favorite products is the Bite Beauty Lip, what is this called again? Cashmere Lip Cream, and I totally cannot pronounce the name of it. Sanchere? That shade there. And I can't tell you that this shade literally is the most powerful, boldest, the most opaque lip color I have ever used in my entire life. It's matte, it's comfortable, it's long-lasting. It's almost like a fuchsia berry. Berry is definitely open to interpretation. It could be more purple, it could be more red, it could be a burgundy berry-ish. This is more in the pinker type of berry shades, but I absolutely love it. And last but not least, I do want to set everything, and for that I'm going to be using the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Diffused Heat, which looks like this, on just a large powder brush. And I don't want to do too much of this because I don't want to interrupt my highlight. 
But I definitely just wanted to set everything just to make sure it at least lasts me throughout the day. And this is the completed look. All four of the trending at Sephora looks. Feathery brows, simple electric eyes, glowing skin, and berry lip. I am so happy that I was able to film this, got, to film this video for you guys. I think it's so much fun. Definitely, definitely, definitely post your look on Twitter so I can check it out. Trending at Sephora, Twitter and Instagram actually. And definitely make sure to tag me also at put your makeup on so I can check it out. And so that is pretty much all I have for you guys today. Definitely to follow me on my social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I have Tumblr and Snapchat. And of course, I hope you guys take a moment to subscribe. It would really, really make my day. And that is all I have for today. I hope you guys have a great day. And leave me to comment down below telling me which is your favorite look. And that's pretty much it. Have a great day, guys. Bye.